Hey guys, welcome back to a new video by Biology with Zhangxuan. So today we are going to attempt the Cambridge IGCSE Biology Paper 2 Multiple Choice Extended, which is the October-November 2023 version. I just had it, so I would try to solve it as quick as possible for the next upcoming series. So let's start off with uh, the first question. So the link of the paper will be in the description below if you want to download it, okay? So let's start off with the first question. Which processes are characteristics of all living organisms? So it's coming from your Mrs. Brand. So let's see uh, which is the correct answer. So digestion is out from the answer. So the only correct one is respiration and excretion. So the answer is C. This is very simple. Question number two, using the binomial system, the Arctic fox is called Valpus legopus. Which row is correct? So always remember that this is always the genus, this is the species. So it's kind of obvious that the answer is B. Number three, which feature is found in viruses? So for, for viruses especially, right, it's not considered a living organism. So it doesn't possess a lot of things. So because as it as what it is, it is not a prokaryote and neither a eukaryote. So therefore, it doesn't possess a cell wall. It doesn't possess any mitochondria. They don't, of course, have a nucleus, but they have a protein code. Okay, it's important to note that they have a protein code um, as one of the external features of a virus itself. Okay, question number four. Which features are possessed by all plant cells? So all plant cells in general is quite simple. So let's see... Uh, the, which is the correct answer. So possessed by all plant cells. Huh? Okay, the key word is all plant cells, meaning they are referring to either leaf cells, uh, the stem cells, and the root hair cell. Okay. In particularly, most of them, they definitely have cell wall. That is correct. Okay, those who have, is correct. But chloroplasts especially is different. All leaves green leaves specifically they have chloroplasts if they stem if it's green stem it has chloroplasts other if it doesn't have a green color pigment it doesn't have chloroplasts if root hair cell it completely doesn't have any chloroplasts that's the, so the answer is b so do carefully go through one by one thing through it says all plant cells most people would definitely pick a if they assume that plant cells are just basically leaf cells Okay, just be careful with that. Okay, the length of a bacteria uh, in the diagram is 50 uh, millimeters. The magnification of the diagram is 5,000. So find is the actual length. So I'm just going to use this formula, the IM formula. Okay, so what am I having right now is the image, which is 50 millimeters. But again, I will convert it into micrometer. So I times by 1,000. Okay, I don't have the uh, actual length which I'm about to find, but I have the magnification. So I divide by 5,000. So the answer you will get here is 10 micrometers. Okay, so the answer is B. Alright, question 6, an osmosis question. So the diagram shows an experiment to investigate osmosis in living cells. This is quite a familiar past year paper question. So what happens to the volumes of water and sugar solution after 12 hours okay so let's see because potato right it can uh the water can definitely enter from a higher concentration gradient to a lower concentration gradient the keyword here is now they want at after 12 hours so let's see what happens after 12 hours okay since osmosis is from high to low water potential right the water can go in therefore the volume of water will decrease not increase in that definitely doesn't remain the same the volume of the sugar solution okay will increase okay it will definitely increase and will never decrease or neither stay the same because water enters however the only answer here possess the correct one is volume of water decreases so the answer is a question seven which statement about active transports are correct okay active transport against the concentration gradient so let's look through at every one of it it transports particle from a low concentration to a high concentration yes this is correct it always transports particles into cells okay no it doesn't okay it usually typically transport ions 
okay, or something that is repelled by the membrane or heavier, larger molecules. So uh, number two is wrong. Three, it involves protein molecules in the cell membrane. Yes, you, active transport is particularly special because it requires a protein to constantly pump itself the ions from one side to another. So number three is correct. It uses energy from respiration. Yes, definitely. So respiration is coming from the mitochondria. Mitochondria produces our ATP or energy. So it, it is used heavily for active transport. So the correct answer here is only B. Others are wrong. Question number eight. Which role identifies uh, the chemical elements in protein? This is very simple. Protein uh, is different from carbohydrates is, and lipids is by one nitrogen. So the answer for this is A. Okay. Question number nine. The table shows large, some large biological molecules and some small biological molecules. So which role correctly pairs the large molecules to, with the smaller molecules used to make them? So this was very simple. So let's see which one is the correct one. So cellulose is the larger bio biological molecule. When you break it down, it becomes glucose. That is correct. Oil is a fat. Fatty acid don't produce amino acid. It only produces fatty acids and glycerol. Glycogen? Glycogen to glucose? Yes. The difference between glycogen and starch. Glycogen is found in humans. Starch is found in plants, but they are all derived eventually into glucose. So number three is correct. Question number four, protein, it won't become an ethanol. It will become amino acid. Ethanol is not even a small biological molecule. So the answer here is only B. Okay, question number 10. The graph shows the result of an experiment to investigate the rate of respiration in an organism in different environmental temperatures. What explains the increase in the rate of respiration between 10 degrees to 30 degrees? So you can see from here to here, it is quite a significant increase. So let's see what are the uh, answers that we have. The enzymes are denaturing, definitely not. Enzymes helps to increase the rate of reaction. There are more frequent effective collisions between enzyme and substrate molecules. Maybe there are fewer enzyme substrate complexes formed. Nope. When you are having um, a high, a, of course, a good rate of reaction, right? There will be more collision and successful catalyze of products coming out. So C is out. There is less kinetic energy. No. Nope. So the answer is only B. The most uh, logical answer here. Okay, question 11, oh, very similar. Okay, the diagram shows how the rate of photosynthesis varies with light intensity. The four curves show different conditions of temperature and carbon dioxide concentration. So we have different concentrations here, but what limits the rate of photosynthesis at point P? So let's see what limits are. Huh? Okay, light intensity, uh, carbon dioxide concentration and temperature. So light and intensity isn't the limiting one. Okay, so this is out. Okay, for carbon dioxide concentration, um, it is definitely because the amount has decreased from 0 0.2 to 0 0.1. So the limit is carbon dioxide. All right, this is correct. Temperature. Temperature, it changes, okay, as it goes down. So it also limits the rate of photosynthesis. So this is wrong. This is wrong, this is correct, this is correct. So the answer for here is C. Question number 12. The diagram shows a cell with groups of bacteria around its edge. The bacteria has moved to areas of high oxygen concentration. Which process in the cell causes the bacteria to form these groups? So digestion? Um, nope. Photosynthesis. Chloroplast is the keyword here, so it is photosynthesis. Reproduction? Nope. Respiration? Nope. So the key thing is because the presence of chloroplast that enables it to undergo photosynthesis. So the answer is B. Question 13. The diagram shows the teeth in the lower jaw of a human. Which tooth is a premolar? So premolar, it's basically before a molar. So we know that here is the incisors. This is a premolar. We kind of know the answer if I labeled it already. This is the canines and this is the molars. So the correct answer is A. Okay, next question. 
Some medicines are made into tablets which are coated in a starch-like substance. The coating protects the medicine from the effects of gastric juice. Which enzyme digests the coating and what is produced by this action? So, okay, since they say that are coated with a starch-like substance. So in order to break the coating, right, it's made of starch. So you use amylase because amylase to hydrolyze it to become, uh, I mean, it can break down into some, some, something smaller, which could be glucose, okay? So the products are definitely simple reducing sugars. So the answer is B. For A, uh, it won't produce fatty acid and glycerol. Lipase will, but it didn't say any fat-like substance. So it's out. Lipase don't produce simple reducing sugar. So the good answer here is B. Okay, question 15. Uh, the diagram shows the villus. The arrow shows the direction of flow within vessels associated with the villus. Which vessels carries blood to the liver? Carries blood, huh? Okay. This is the... Uh, arteries okay B this one is more of the inner one okay and then this should be the lacteal if I'm not mistaken hmm this looks like a lacteal okay but I'm not sure already but then D is definitely a vein you can see because of this so many directions is going into hmm so the answer would be D because it's going back to the liver and then back to the lungs all right Okay, I mean the heart. Okay, question 16. From which part of a leaf does most water evaporate during transpiration? Okay, most water evaporate. Huh? The cuticle? Nope. The guard cell? Nope. The spongy mesophyll cell? Yes. And the xylem vessels? Nope. So the answer is C. Why? Because the spongy mesophyll cell has a very large space. When they have a very large space, that's where all the gas exchange will happen. And then at the same time, it's where the most of the water is uh, of course, they combine, they are together with the, those air particles and then they release out together. So the guard cells isn't. The guard cells are the one that helps to open and close only. They don't help to, you know, make sure that most water evaporates. Or is doing the spongy mesothelial cell. Take note. Okay. Question 17. The photograph shows a cross-section through a sunflower stem. Okay, they are identifying the, what is the tissue name. So Zeka. Alright, so this is... Okay, so what is this they are pointing into? So what they are pointing into here is actually the xylem, okay? So the xylem, uh, they transport mineral ions, okay? Of course. It's always the largest one will be the xylem and the, the surrounding one will be the flower, okay? It's important that you must know how to identify them, okay? Xylem is the birth, sorry, and phloem at the bottom. This is the flower. Okay, my bad. So the answer is C. Okay, question 18. Uh, the photomicrograph shows some blood cells. What is the function of cell P? Okay, this is um this is actually a lymphocyte. Okay, this is a lymphocyte. So what does lymphocyte do? It produces antibodies. Okay, question 19. The diagram shows the blood vessels associated with the liver. So they show uh, all these pathways. What are the blood vessels labeled X, Y, and Z? So do not this question isn't um, coming out in any of our past year paper question. It's one of the questions that is new in our syllabus. So you must know what are the hepatic arteries, the hepatic portal vein, and the hepatic vein itself. So how do you solve this question? It's very simple find which one you know first. So you know that whichever comes in, you see, it's coming from the aorta. So whatever enters is always the arteries. So the artery is always correct, which is Y. Okay, but now we are left with the remaining ones. Okay, let's look at vein. Since vein is the most, um, we understand really well, veins are the one that's responsible for going back to the heart. So which one is the vein? which is the answer from X. And the hepatic portal vein is coming from whichever part it, uh, it originally coming from, like the small intestine, uh, all the villas like that, where it has already broken down, it, coming back, it comes back to the liver again. So it will be at Z. So the answer is C. So for this kind of question, if you just really don't know what are they, if you have never really studied about this, 
just find what whichever you know first. So we all know what's an artery. It goes away from the heart. And then vein is going towards the heart. So that is the key thing that you must be familiarized of. Okay? Question 20. When a pathogen enters the blood, the immune system uses different mechanisms to destroy the pathogen. Diagram shows one of the these mechanisms. So which row describes the structure involved? So for X, right? X is made by so since X they, this is what we call as an antibody actually so which white blood cell produce antibodies lymphocytes so lymphocytes are the correct one for X so what is the structure X actually so this is an antibody so antibodies are answer pretty much we already know where's the correct position we are going and these are always the antigen the other one that allows the antibody to bind with it okay so the answer is pretty much c you already know it is from there okay question 21 what is the com composition of expired air compared with inspired air so for this question is testing your knowledge on the percentages of composition when you inhale air and you exhale it so compared with expired to inspired okay so very important, um, we know that carbon dioxide, we exhale carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide will increase. So it will never be decreased. Oxygen will decrease. So, correct, correct, correct. Water vapor, okay. When we exhale, you produce water vapor. So sometimes you felt that your mouth is a little bit wet after you exhale or you put a, your hand near to your mouth, right? You can see it condensed onto your hand. This means that there is a presence of water vapor. There is an increase of it. So the answer is the most suitable one will be donkey D. Okay, question 22. During exercise, receptors detect a change in the blood and cause the breathing rate to increase. Which change do the receptors detect and where are they found in the body? So when the breathing rate increases, what causes it to detect it's always the detection of the increased amount of carbon dioxide when they increase the amount of carbon dioxide in your body right it requests the body to immediately inhale more oxygen to replace and remove the carbon dioxide out from the body so where are all of these found in the body of course when the receptors work it all comes from the central nervous system which is the brain it will never come from the lungs so the answer is a. Okay. Question 23. Yeast cells can convert glucose into alcohol and carbon dioxide. Which statement about this process is correct? So this is anaerobic respiration. So the alcohol produce can be used to make the bread rise. So alcohol produce can be... Not really. It's the carbon dioxide that helps to, uh, you know, raise the bread up. So this is wrong. The carbon dioxide produce can be burned as a biofuel. No. The yeast cells are using oxygen for this process. No, this is um, alcoholic fermentation. Fermentation is undergoing without the presence of oxygen. So the yeast cells are carrying out anaerobic respiration. So this is the correct answer. Okay, one is the correct balance equation for one type of respiration. One type, but they didn't specify you what is it. So you need to find out which is the correct answer. So let's see. C2H5OH, it will never be because respiration starts off with glucose. So anything that it doesn't start off with glucose is out. Okay. C6H12O6 to C2H5OH, carbon dioxide is always produced. So water is never the product. So the answer is correct for C. Question 25. Which role shows an organ and the substance it excretes? Okay. Bladder, water, they don't. Kidney, ions, yes. Lung, oxygen, no, they don't excrete oxygen, they, actually, uh, they excrete carbon dioxide. Urethra, no, it's not urea. So the answer is B. Okay, the diagram shows a reflex arc in the human nervous system. The person's finger has just made contact with a sharp object. Okay, which part is the motor neuron? All right, so when you touch this part, right, it will of course signal it. Okay, it will signal to this and then B, then to C. The motor neuron is always close to the, uh, to the muscles actually. So the answer for this would be C. 
Okay, because the sensory neuron is here, this will be the kind of close to the central nervous system. And then this is definitely the motor. Because the motor, remember, the key thing is that it's going to move. So the answer will close to be C already. Okay. Which hormones can increase blood glucose concentration? So blood glucose concentration will increase when adrenaline and glucagon is given. Adrenaline, when you have a lot of, uh, high amount of adrenaline right now, you have incre increased the um, kind of the glucose concentration because you are inhaling faster, okay? And glucagon is of course converting um, this into glucose, all right? Okay, 28. What is defined as a substance that is taken into the body and modifies or affects chemical reactions in the body? This is a definition question. This will be drug, okay? Question 29, uh, what is the disadvantage of sexual reproduction for a population in the wild? So a reduction in genetic diversity, nope. A decreased ability to adapt changes in the environment, not really. A, reproduction, a reduction in reproduction if individuals are isolated. Yes, that, could, yeah, that is true. An increased likelihood of a disease affecting all individuals, no. So the answer, best possible answers you can get is C. Okay, question 13. Pollen grains from a plant were placed in, onto the stigma of a flower of the same plant. The length of the pollen tube were measured for 4 hours. The mean length of the style in this species is, the, uh, is 2 millimeters. This was repeated using pollen from a different plant. The results are shown. Okay, they show this. From a pollen from a different plant and a pollen from the same plant. Which statements are correct? So, you need to take time to understand this, huh? Okay, self-pollination does not lead to fertilization. Yes, correct. The difference in growth of the two types of pollen is an adaptation to increase variation. Yes, you're correct. This is correct. The pollen tubes from a different plant grow fastest between 2.0 and 4.0 hours. 2.0 hours to 4.0 hours. No, this is more of gradual. This one is where it is the most fastest. So the answer is B. Okay, question 31. Which hormones are released by the placenta during pregnancy? Release ah, during pregnancy. FSH and LH? Nope. Estrogen and luteinizing hormone? Nope. Progesterone and estrogen? Nope. It's only FSH and Progesterone. So the answer is, oh, sorry, I have misread the question. Okay, they say which hormones are released uh, during placenta, during pregnancy? Oh, the placenta. Okay, so FSH and LH definitely out. FSH, no. Progesterone, yes. Estrogen, yes. Luteinizing hormone, no. Progesterone and estrogen, yes, is released in the placenta. So the answer is donkey D. Sorry. Question 32, why are cells in the pancreas the only body cells that produce insulin? So let's see, all the genes in the nucleus of the cell in the pancreas are expressed. Wrong. Other bodies do not have the gene for insulin. Not really. The cells in the pancreas have twice as many genes as other body cells. No. The gene for insulin is only expressed by cells in the pancreas. Correct. So... The answer for this is D. Slightly tricky, but you need to understand. Okay, okay, because um, the pancreas, right? They won't express at you know at any time they want. They will express when the gene itself has you know start to act up. The insulin of the the gene of the inside the insulin will begin to act up. Therefore. Pancreas is the only one. It's always because of the cell, not because of the organ. The organ only helps to produce it. But when it comes to action, right, it's more of the gene inside the particular hormone that activates it. So the answer is D. Question 33. Okay, which statement is correct? Mitosis always produces offspring that are homozygous. No, it can be either. Mitosis produces cells that are genetically identical. Yes. Mitosis produce gametes in animals? No. Gametes are produced when diploid to haploid, which is actually meiosis. 
Mitosis only produces haploid cells. No, they can also produce diploid cells. So the answer is B. Question 34. What are the sources of genetic variation in population? Genetic variation. So genetic variation means that it can be different. So what is usually genetic different? So meiosis is one, random mating, and random fertilization. When it comes to randomly, right, you are giving an increased assortment of genes, it meaning you're giving a chance to create many genetically identical, uh, uh, sorry, genetically different offspring. That is the key thing, that to create genetic variation, when you have different set, different kinds of genes, uh, and it's not the, exactly the same as parent to offspring, then this is what we call as increase in genetic variation. So the answer is A. Question 35, which row shows the features of xerophytes that reduce water loss? Reduce water loss. So the green color from the uh, chlorophyll, nope. A uh, leaf is reduced to spines. This is wrong, it should be correct. Presence of stomata, um, not really. Thick cuticle, it should be correct. Okay, because they want to reduce the amount of water loss. So when it comes to this, this is wrong, this would be correct, this would be this, this would be correct. And this would be correct. Sorry, this should be wrong actually. This is correct, this is correct, this is correct, this is correct. So the answer is C. Okay, question 36. The diagram shows a food chain. Which statement about a pyramid base on this food chain is correct? They want a pyramid base, okay? So let's see what are the options that we have here. Drawn as a pyramid of biomass, the hog would have the largest bar size. Nope, okay? Drawn as a pyramid of energy, the tree would have the largest bar size, correct? Drawn as a pyramid energy, the tree would have the smallest bar size. No, nope. pyramid of numbers, the hog would have no. Nope. Okay, so the answer is only B. Why? Because in terms of energy, producers usually has the most amount of energy. So the answer would be B. Okay, question 37. During the nitrogen cycle, which process releases nitrogen gas into the air? Okay, so the only one is denitrification. You want to convert whatever you have, the nitrate ions, into Nitrogen gas, you undergo denitrification. Question 38. Red green color blindness is a sex link characteristic caused by a recessive allele. Which prediction can be made about a children of a woman who is color blind and a man with a normal vision? Okay. So let's see what we have here. Boys will be color blind and girls will have a 50% chance of being color blind. Okay. Actually, let's try to see, uh, you know. Let's create this Punet square. Okay. Which prediction can be made about the children of a woman which, who is colorblind and a man with normal vision? Okay, let's put into this. Let's put a, a, who, a man with a normal vision. Okay, R, R. And a woman is colorblind is R, R. So, let's see. Oh, sorry, I cannot do this. Okay. Okay, the woman is colorblind, right? So it's XR, XR, and the male is XR, Y. So if you actually, um, XR, Y, okay. So XR, XR would be XR, XR, then this would be XR, XR, and this would be XR, Y, and XR, Y. So what does this tell you from here? So boys will be colorblind and girls will have a normal vision. So the answer is B because R and R is dominant, right? Dominant it shows that it has a normal vision. Uh, sorry, for girls it will be a woman will be normal vision, but boys on the other hand it has the recessive allele of R. So this results in boys will be colorblind and girls will have a normal vision. Question 39. One method of conserving fish stock is to have a minimum mesh size of for fishing net. How is the mesh size chosen to conserve a particular fish species? 
So the holes of the net in the net must be small enough to catch only young fish. You don't catch young fish. You always catch the larger ones. The hole in the net must be small enough to catch all the fish old enough to produce. Nope. The holes in the net must be large enough to catch some fish of all ages you don't want. You always want to have the largest one. The holes in the net must be large enough to allow the young fish to escape. Correct. Why? Right? Because the young fishes, right, they are still undergoing growth. So when, when you take all of the young fishes, right, there will be no more of the offspring that we call. So we always take the larger ones. So the answer of this would be D. Okay, final question, genetic modification. So the diagram shows a human, how a human gene can be inserted into a bacterium. So you pretty much just have to look at this diagram. So which row shows the correct processes at 1, 2, 3, and 4? So use restriction enzyme, okay, gene removed from one chromosome, you are using the restriction enzyme. And then you also use the restriction enzyme to remove one of the sec segments in the bacteria plasmid. Uh, back, as I mean, in the bacteria cell, you remove the plasmid, okay, the bacteria is removed and cut. You both use the same restriction enzyme. So one and two, out, 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 pretty much you know the answer is going to be B already. But let's have a look at the why is it 3 and 4. Use ligase as enzymes, you always combine together using a ligase, okay, which is 3. The multiplication of bacteria is when you insert it already, therefore it duplicates, so it's considered a number 4. So the answer is B. Okay, so I'm done with this paper. Uh, in overall, I wouldn't say it's too challenging, but you must really understand what is happening. Try to guess whichever you know first, and then you proceed to what you know the least. Then you can make a best possible guess, to which is the answer already. So sometimes the options will be quite promising. So again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any issues, just write down in the comments below. I will be grateful to help you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you. Bye-bye.